All right. A good A good morning. Teferis Shibit Teferis. The Rebbe Maharash. So, Hayom Yom. The Friedrich Rebbe writes that my grandfather, the Rebbe Maharash, son of the Tzemach Tzedek, was born on this day. When he was seven years old, he was once tested in his studies by his father, the Tzemach Tzedek. My grandfather did so well in the test that his teacher was extremely impressed. Unable to restrain himself, he said to the Tzemach Tzedek, well, what do you say? Hasn't he done marvelously? The Tzemach Tzedek responded, what is there to be surprised about when Teferis, Shabbat Teferis, does well? So let me ask you, what do you have from that? Why, why should Teferis, Shabbat Teferis, of course, do well? Any, any thoughts on that? All right, I'll give you a thought. Um, in that, you know, I didn't send out a new chart, but you have a chart in here from Chesed Shabbat Teferis, so you could uh, look at Seferis. And amongst the many meanings, and how we're going to double, you know, the same meanings inside the circle, outside the circle, we have Teferis meaning integration, right? Right, left, Iskalolus, we call it uh, in Hebrew, integration. And integration of what? One of the meanings of Teferis that I put on the chart is, is emes, truth. Integration of the truth. One thing to learn it and even know it, but to integrate it so that it becomes part and parcel of all your parts and parcels, that's a big deal. So that's one way of looking at it. I'm sure there are many, there are, there are many other ways because there are many other combinations of the Ferris ship and the Ferris. But in thinking about this, as I was looking at my own chart, I was, I was trying to remind myself, where did I get the notion that the Ferris uh, can be translated or uh, has the implication of emes, truth? I mentioned one last week, the word emes itself, aleph mem tuf, is a perfectly balanced, that's another meaning for teferis, balanced. The be, aleph at the beginning, tuf at the end, and the mem in the middle. First letter, last letter, and middle, that's a perfect balance. And then, I mean, there's a, uh, there's a posik, titen emes le Yaakov. He gives truth to Yaakov. And Yaakov, as we probably, most of us here know, is the meat of teferis. Avram is chesed, it's a gevura. And Yaakov is the Ferris. So integration of truth. Uh, integration. I mean, it becomes part of your nefesh ruach and neshama. It becomes part of your mindset. It becomes part of your emotions and becomes part of your deeds in a natural way. So, of course, if a person is the Ferris, should be the Ferris. What do you expect? All right. It's a win-win. Oh, so. There's no negative. It's a win-win. You got it. It's a win-win. Sarah, you have your hand up. What do you want? Go ahead. Good morning. So, it's, good morning. It's, so the um, Teferit has the ability, as you said, to balance or to harmonize. And it's not equal. It's not a 50-50 situation. It, that's what's amazing about Teferis. It has the ability to blend or harmonize any combination. Right. And specifically paradoxical combinations right. and bring them together into a harmonious right. uh, gathering uh, and balance. And that's why the inner level of Teferis is Rachmanis or mercy. And so the Baal Shem Tov teaches that Teferis is the heart of Avis Israel for yeah. that reason. And that's where it is, right? Right, right. arm, left arm, and heart. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, today's Tanya. Lessons in Tanya starts a new parak. Parak uh, Mem Dalit on page uh, 650 in Lessons in Tanya. And page 124 in uh, the classical version. Mem Dalit. You know, sometimes I like, this is purely me, like to darshan the, the chapter names i mean i picked it up from the alter rabbi 
There's famous, the famous Maimon of the Alter Rebbe Lakuti Torah. The Maimon on Abbas Yisrael is on page Lamed Beis, which is heart. So, and it's spoken about among, in Chassidus. So I don't know, I kind of like that thing. No, Mem Dalit is the Mayim Duchrin, the masculine waters, right? And the masculine waters, if you remember just from a day or two ago, the masculine waters are the love, the projective outward expression of oneself. And the Mayim Nuchvin are the feminine waters, which is the receptivity. So today we're talking all about love, all about love. All the levels that there are in these two big categories of love, Avas Ava, Avas Olam, Avas Olam, which is the uh, love that's, uh, that's, that emerges from contemplation of the world, and not just the physical world, but the myriad, in F, in, if infinite, in the infinity of God's creation and the magnificence of it, and how it all works together. Avas Oilam, a love that's based on contemplation of that. And then Avaraba, I'm saying in reverse, in reverse, Avaraba, 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 Avaraba is like the, the love of, 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 a, of a child in the womb of the mother or in, this, in the arms of the mother, just when there's no separation whatsoever, that kind of, it's a peaceful love. Av, Avas Oilam is a energetic, a bubbling kind of a love. I'm yearning, I'm on fire, I want. Place I nefesh. That's the uh, feeling of Avasoilam. The feeling of Avaraba is I'm, I've arrived. And there's no difference between me and the, my and beloved. We are one. That's Avasoilam. And it's also called Ava Bitainugim. That's the sense, sense of Tainug. So, anyway, all these levels that we've spoken about in these two general categories of Avaraba and Avasoilam, Nechlechis Lekama Bechinus and Madregas are divided into many, many levels, Lain Kates without end. Kol Had Lefum Shiura Delay. Each person can experience these two broad categories of love in very idiosyncratic ways, according to who you are, the level of your soul, and Etc. Whatever constitutes the you that differentiates you from others, so each one can experience it. Le fum shiura delay, according to the way that literally that it's measured out to you from above. Mashikatz b'zayak kodesh, as is written in Holy Zohar, on the pasuk, the pasuk we say Shabbos night. Neither b'ashorim b'ayla, her husband is known in the gates. Right. So the husband, love, masculine love. Mayim Duchrin. Shorim has to do with gates, which is, a, you know, a throttle, a, a gateway, in and out, a pathway, and the various different sizes, or it could also mean measure. It's, it's related to the word, word she, or it's not the same word, but it's measured out to you in specific ways. So, Noide Bashorim Baila, we darshan, love, the husband, the Mayim Duchrin, is known according to the size and the constitution of the pathway and the gate that's that each of what each and every one of us have so this is refers to HaKadosh Baruch the way he in, gives us access to love the he who is yod of his davik because Hashem he knows and he clings to each and every individual according to what's measured out here's the word gated the gated ways, the gateways of one's own heart. That's what Hashem gives to you according to the gateways of your heart. That's why fear and love are called the hidden things to Hashem. Hashem knows what you're capable of, deserving of, or what other, other factors he uses to give you access in your way, in my way, different ways, to the measure of love that's appropriate for us. He opens up the spigot in the way that's right for you so that you can drink it. The Torah mitzvahs hain nigla slona. So these, these, the rachimah b'rachimah, the chila b'rachimah, the hidden hidden things from Hashem, they're known to Hashem how to manage those. The Torah mitzvahs hain a nigla slona. And the Torah and the mitzvahs is what's revealed to us, and we all have the same Torah and the same mitzvahs to do. Ula to us, ula benenu, to us and our children, la asres to do. Kitera achasu mishpat echol likulonu, because all of us have the same Torah. There's one Torah, there's one judgment to all of us, 
the kiyam kol Torah mitzvahs in, the, in terms of how we fulfill the Torah and the mitzvahs, bebechin is masa in terms of deed. The deed of everybody is the same, right? Keep the Shabbos. How you do deal with it in your heart and your mind, these are internal things to you. But in terms of deed, we all have the same 613 deeds to do. All differently is, however, the the the, the, the meters of love and fear, well, fear and love. Shehem das. That comes according to the level of das we have in Hashem. Shebemoyach, in our brain and in our heart. And now, as we just spoke about uh, the last couple of days that we've learned, das, remember, das is Lashen Hiskashris. Das is also a middle kav, bringing paradoxical or opposite things to, in together in, in a state of inter-inclusion. To take Chachma and Bina and to blend the two together, which and the two that are opposites, and bring them into the heart in the levels of Chesed and Gevorah, and then blend those into Teferas. So we each know our hearts, and God knows our hearts. And by our heart, and my heart, and your heart are different, and God knows that. But in terms of deed, we got 613, all of the same things we're all supposed to do. Achachas, as he said. Now, he's introducing now something new. I mean, not that this may not have been new, but something really new that he hasn't mentioned before. There is one level of love, which includes both Avas Rabba and Avas Oila. You know, what is that? The he shab, and then that one is Shabba Lechol Nefesh Royal. It's equal to each and every, amongst each and every one of the Jewish people. And it's a Yerushalayim Abuseinu, and it's an inheritance to us from our fathers. What is it? So he introduces the source of how he's going to darshan. This is what this is. It says in the Zohar, Mashikos of Zohar al Pasik Nafshi ibesichli belaylo, my soul desires you in the night. So the Zohar, this is a, a pasuk in Yeshayahu in Isaiah. So. The, the, the Zohar darshans is pasuk. The Rachel Mekodesh Bor. One has love for Hashem. The Chamuta, the Nafsha, the love of the soul, the Rucha, and of the spirit, the Nefesh and the Ruah. Tam is Davkin Elin the Gufa. As these, uh, as the as the uh, Nefesh and the as in the, as the Ruah is in in, in, in the Nefesh are uh, clinging to the body, the Gufa Rachim Lon, and the body loves them. And this is what he's going to explain this. And this is also what it's written. Nafshi avasicha. says, my soul yearns for you, longs for you. Claimer. Which means to say, since you are Hashem, you Hashem are my nafshi, you are my soul. And you are the true life of my life. Therefore, I yearn for you and long for you. Pirish, meaning, I long for you as a person longs to be alive. This is the flip side of the natural fear, right? Remember when I speak about of, of the natural fear, the lower level of fear, as the natural fear that a person has of, of losing one's life, of being disconnected from one's life, right? Survival, we talked about it the other day, the survival factor. I, I have an instinct to survive, and I'm, a, and, it, and I'm afraid of not surviving, and I'll protect myself because of that. That's the year that we spoke about, natu- yir- yir- tato, the lowest level of love. This is the car of, of fear. This is the corresponding natural love that I know, you know, that the, my connection is, my connection of my body that my body is alive is because it's connected to the nefesh, spiritual, lowest level of spirituality, the soul, ultimately the soul, the nefesh, the, and the nefesh, ruach, and the shama. And I want that. I want that. I, I don't, on the one hand, I don't want it to be disconnect. I don't want to be disconnected. And I want to be connected. That's the natural love, which is the third level of love. Avis oilam is contemplative love, remember? Contemplate the, the world. That, that corresponded to 
the level of yira, which is yira sikhlis, where you contemplate about the grandeur of Hashem and the awesomeness of Hashem, and you don't want to be separated from that. This is the natural love that comes from just the simple realization that godliness is what's keeping you alive, and you want to stay connected with that, and you yearn to and will do anything to stay connected with that. That's, uh, that's the natural love which is the inheritance, as he says, that we have from our forefathers and foremothers. Back inside. Like a person desires the life of his soul. And a person, and he goes further with this mushroom, we say when a person is weak, and exhausted, a person desires, longs, that, that God should return his soul to him. In other words, bring, give me more life, give me more chayas. Likewise, when he goes to sleep, what does he want? And what is his desire? Right? These are words of love now. Want and desire. He wants that God should restore his soul to him. When he wakes up from his sleep. So similarly, this is the, the mashal, just as I want that my life should be returned to me when I got up in the morning, right? etc. I'm praising God that he blew the soul back into me. So I want also and yearn for the light of the infinite one, infinite one blessed be he, who is the Chaya Chaya, who is the life of all lives, a meeting of true life. I want that the life, that the infinite light, and the one who is the life of all, the true life of all lives, should bring that, draw that down into me, through my occupation, the Torah, when I wake up from my sleep, in the night. Because the Zohar said the expression from the Zohar, the Torah and the Kodesh Borhu are one. I've mentioned this before, but if you look at the Aramaic word for Torah, or yasa, Torah is called a light which comes out, which is projected. And that's the life force. The life force is embodied in and delivered through by Raisa, Torah. Thomas as the Zohar writes, Shom, the Zohar writes over there. The boy Barnosh, the person wants from the, of the love of, of the Holy One, the Mikum Bekol Laila, when he gets up in the middle of the night or in, in, in the entirety of the night, when he, when he gets up in the middle of the night, to when he gets up in the middle of the night to get occupied in his service. This is Tikan Chatzois or waking up early and starting the day with Torah and he wants that connection when he be, when he begins his service ad safra until the morning of course when the morning is the morning light when the light is uh, available to everybody that's today's Tanya so questions comments who's here Anybody? Questions or comments? Everything's good, settled? Silence is golden. Yeah. All right. How about a bacane? Therefore. Give us a minute. Give us a minute to oh, digest. Give, oh, I'll give you some. You know. Time. Oh, okay. Good. I'll, I'll sip my People coffee. Are thinking. While you're, oh, good. I'll relax with my coffee while you're thinking. Sure. <laughs> Well, you, okay, I'm raising my hand. <laughs> okay, you're raising your voice. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you don't see my hand. Sorry. It's okay. Um, it says, Lakum Shi'ura delay. Yeah. It's according to your capacity. It's also according to your effort. No? Well, I mean, yeah, of course it is, but yes. But, but you're yeah. right. But, no, but your efforts may be limited by your capacity. No. You know. <laughs> right. No, no, you're right. Right. I mean, person makes an effort according to his the effort the ability of him or herself to make that effort if only yeah yeah hello yeah <laughs> but yeah 
Yeah, but effort and capacity go together. Right? Uh, I, th- I guess. Well, yeah, but like Reva always told us, English, and we have the Reva always said, told us, yeah. If you said, "I'm working to my capacity," right? So that's that's as, that's the that's as much as I can take. That's the measure of what I can, the the greatest measure of what I can take. Yeah, but how many people does that apply to? I mean, the Reva wow. always told us. We can do so much more, right? All right. So you've given us a behavior. Let's take the shorter delay, what's measured out to meaning that I'm I'm making a decision to work to my capacity, the full measure, the full shear that's been measured out to me in order to, and I'm going to apply that particularly today to cultivating one of the three or all of the three levels of love. All right. To right. That's a good thing. Anybody else? Integrating. Uh, Risk is mentioning Integrated. when she mm-hmm. said Risk has said, give me a chance to digest, which reminded me uh, of that that vart on love that I'm I'm sure we've all heard it. And we have to be, you know, one takeaway is that we have to make sure it's really love and that it's not self-centered. And the 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 classic thing is what you know, somebody says, I love fish. And, you know, the answer is no, no. He says, you know, I, I love, you know, when you're eating fish, I love fish. He says, no, you don't love fish. If you loved fish, you'd very gently pick up the fish and put it back in the lake so it could like <laughs> right. swim away and have its right. life. You know, I mean, you, you love the feeling of eating it. So we have to not fool ourselves. Right. That's very good. Very good. It's interesting that you use the muscle of, of eating. Because eating is one of the, you know, we could put probably eating on the chart because eating is integration, right? Eating is taking something and integrating it into all the parts of your body. And I told you, I mentioned, I told you, I mentioned that over Pesach, I read an essay where the writer of the essay, instead of using the word integration of, you know, of godliness, uses the word metabolizing, metabolizing godliness, which I like, I think that's, really what we do. We have to take godliness and metabolize it. Good. That's nice. Yeah. Anything else? Anybody else? All right. So we'll close it for today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.